Welcome guys. So let's talk about the new exchange. So this exchange we are talking about the, what is this new exchange all about? So the new exchange wants to combine two things. The the features of centralization which is speed and then the features of decentralization which is security. Now you want to be you, you want to be considering what is happening. Listen. In the crypto today, the crypto of today will not succeed in tomorrow's world. Or best say the crypto of yesterday is not going to succeed in today's world. Why? Because <laughs> crypto want to come to crypto should come to a point where it should allow for human error. You're not going to bring in some people are not going to bring in money into the system. That if if you lost like well someone had bought some uh, some name for twenty five um, euros and after many years, I think four or five years. The, the the name we are worth 2.5 million dollars now that boy could not assess those things because he lost his case so what you want to bring in systems now that is putting 25 dollars losing 2.5 million who's going to do that what about someone putting 2.5 million is going, to, is going to lose that no so new wants to bring uh new the new exchange wants to combine these two stuffs and then another thing again about the system is it will be using something that is very, very unique. It will be using things like off-chain training ma uh, machine engine. So what that means is you have someone who wants, let's say, uh, this guy, for example, wants to exchange new or any asset for another asset. Okay, this guy wants to ex exchange new uh, Ethereum, for as an Ethereum, for example, uh, Ethereum for new. And this guy wants to exchange new for Ethereum. So the off-chain trading engine is going to help with mashing this trade. Okay, you want this. Okay, why not we mash it? Or if and another thing again that this is going to do is going to help with a fair system, or like the the centralized exchange really don't give auditing and resident. This system is going to sort for the best price possible, and when you sort for the best price possible, it's going to give you this best price. And so. What happens is that you as a person wants to exchange your interior for new. And then it's going to look through as many people who have such offers and going to give you the cheapest possible in the fastest. And then because this trade is based on smart contracts, you can see if that trade was actually fraudulent or whatever. You can actually audit the trade. And if you discover that there is also uh, there is Maybe you malicious or whatever. You can actually um, bring up a suit or a case or whatever. And then they want to bring in a platform system where assets like new and gas can be converted to other tokens. And then, and then they want to bring different types of other like the normal stuff. Others like limit your exchange tokens. Um, market and then margin. They also also bring a system uh, exchange APIs. You can actually connect these things to other platforms or whatsoever. And then the implementation. So they will be building this thing upon LXI functionally programmable language. And then uh, security. So they will not be negating security. Security will be of utmost uh, concern in this system. Now, one of the things they actually thought of bringing is that in the future, they int they intend integrating things like uh, dollars for transactions. It's something that they're actually proposing, but let's see what becomes of social proposal in the future. And then another thing again that they want to also bring in the future, they want to bring a system where people can actually send any coin to any wallet. So it's not like uh, you send money to one exchange and then um, let's say for example you send Ethereum to a new exchange and so your money so there's no we're not bringing a system here if you have an address you have an address there's nothing like let like, imagine for example if cryptocurrencies is to be adopted for a wide use do you think now if you go on coin market cap you you have over a thousand five hundred cryptocurrencies. So what what makes you what, what makes you think that you are going to bring in a cryptocurrency that is going to condition someone that you are going to say okay will you accept Bitcoin here? No, you're going to bring in a system here 
when we say we're accepting cryptocurrencies, we can accept it from every other platform. It's like your bank account. So why I like this thing is because I like this thing because they are combining the normal world where we are that allows for human resources, which is decentralized world, and then the decentralized the, the decentralized world. So let's say for example you have a, a shop. Do you think uh, you have a shop and you have a bank account with whatsoever bank? Different people who have different bank accounts can actually come with their ATM and then slide their ATM and you pay. So let's you can take all these to be banks and the rest of them. So if someone wants to buy from you, you should have it should be a system where you can accept any of all these without having each of them. Like you can you want to say someone is banking with you let's say your customers are coming from 50 different banks. Are you gonna say you want to have 50 different accounts? No. Every of the things they want to bring in the future. They are nothing again, they are envisaging bringing um bringing something they call the the, the, the the decentralized bank. So they want to bring in a system where people can actually store their asset. Now, when you talk about uh, cryptocurrency, they tell you not to store your cryptocurrency in wallet and rest of them. Now I see one of the things that's going to ha that is happening in the crypto space. Even though you tell people most time, oh don't store your assets in in an exchange, people are not going to stop because people are still used. People are still used to the normal centralized world, and that's why the cryptocurrency of the next generation they are not going to be difficult. The cryptocurrency of the next generation they are not going to have things like wallet. The cryptocurrency of the next generation are going to be things like email. When you are sending money, you are you are having things like email, not things like well, um, 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 alpha numeric where if you miss a, a letter or you miss a number then your money is lost. No, it's going to be simple things that you can actually identify a person. It's going to be very simple to the user, but it's going to be complex when it comes to security and maybe hacking and the rest of them. So make it very easy for people to use, but make it very hard for people to steal. So they want to bring in, they, will, they are proposing in the future to bring in a system that people can feel free and store their uh, cryptocurrencies on the nation. So if you see, what they are seeking to do is very, very great, and soon they will announce their, um, their ICO. So, their ICO is not yet on. So, you can look who oh, is behind the thing. So, one they found, uh, the, one of the advisors is Dan Hong Fo, one of the great, uh, one of the great guys out there. And then, guys, that is all I have about this platform. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and to have a very, very good day. Share this video with your friends and subscribe. Thank you.